G'day guys, Matty Graham here from Exponential Performance Coaching. Today I just want to take a moment to talk about quality training and junk training. They're terms that are thrown around a lot and it's almost coming to the point where no one really knows what they mean anymore and we just say them. Now, it seems that people think quality training is anything that's really high intensity and doesn't take very long, which is complete rubbish. On the other hand, people are starting to think long slow training or long slow distance is junk training, which again is not the case. Depending on what training phase you're in will depend on whether or not it's a quality session or not. For example, everyone talks about how quality spin classes are. Okay, I'm actually a spinning instructor. I take uh, regular spin classes um, at the local gym here in Dunedin. So I've got nothing against spin. But spin is not a quality session if your focus at that time is on technique, is on steady base building. If you're going to a spin class and your goals are to develop your technique, to develop your bike handling skills, uh, even whether it's not, it's to develop your running form if you're a triathlete. Technique, sorry, spin, will not be a very quality session for you. Also, depending on who the instructor is, if you're just going to a class that's all about burning energy and burning fat, then it's a waste of your time going to it. It's not quality. Same thing. People think 30 second sprints or a Tabata type workout is quality. It is quality only if it's contributing towards your goals. Something that could be a much qual more quality session could be you going down to the gym and working on your core stability or your glute activation. Or alternatively, going out in the boat and doing an easy technique session. That could be better quality, depending on what you need and the time of your training phase. And this brings us around to junk training. It seems that as soon as someone sees that they've got a long ride, or a long, long training session, it's, oh, this is a junk training session, what's the point of having it in my program? Now, long, slow distance is the foundation of any athlete. Without it, they can't do the high quality, high intensity sessions later on. So it's, it's important that it's in there. If you're doing long, slow distance all year round, and it's the only session that you do, then it becomes junk. Or if you're just going out with a spin for a friend, you know, just because it's, a, it's the coffee shop ride on a Sunday, that's junk training. However, if you've got specific guidelines of how you're doing your training, whether it be a nutrient deprivation ride, you've got pre-run intervals to drive your uh, muscle glycogen down, that's quality. It's not junk by any stretch of the imagination. So whether or not training is junk or quality has nothing to do with whether or not it's high intensity or long slow distance. It all comes back to the aims of your training session, what your goals are, and if these help take steps towards your goal that you have in mind for the for the end product. So get out of the mindset of thinking that high quality training is anything high intensity, sprints and it's not high quality unless you come back sweated and exhausted. Some of the most highest quality sessions are those sessions that are low intensity, working on the technique, working on your mental skills, all of those things add to the quality. And remember, junk training is not just long, steady training. A high intensity training session can become junk if it's done at the wrong time. So, let's start thinking a little smarter and a little bit more in depth about our training. There is never ever one proper way to do anything. No one session that you should be doing all the time. Training is dynamic and it changes depending on how you're adapting to things and the, the phases of your training. If you're doing the same thing day in, day out, even if it's the most highest intensity, high quality session around, it's complete junk because it's not dynamic, it's not changing. So there you have it, a wee bit of a rant about quality versus junk training. 
get out there, get into it. 